What's good, YouTube? We're in Spokane Valley, Washington at the OTS. You're looking at the champion today. It doesn't yes, it is. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're in Northtown Mall at the freaking <laughs> Spokane. I was corrected. Apparently, whatever. It's next to the Valley of Spokane. And we're here at the championship um, of the first OTS at the comic book shop. It's freaking awesome. My teammate Alan gets first place with Rusians. Yeah. Took down um, Evil Swarm. Oh! Really weird that in this kind of a meta, that it ends up being Boozins versus <laughs> freaking Evil Swarm. So, Alan, congratulations on your top. We're doing a deck profile. How you feeling right now, man? Pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> he got his he got his first. I mean, um, this is like one of his biggest wins. Like he, this guy's been playing for years. So I'm really happy for him. Um, so he's got an invite. I hope he can come out to Detroit with us because it'll be sick. And uh, let's get the deck profile. The deck profile started. Yeah, that's the mat. That is the mat, everybody. The Great Keeper OTS Championship mat. All right. So basically, monster lineups. You got, of course, the three models. Standard. Turn them. Yeah, turn them so it's facing us. Hey, you gotta say standard. Dude, it's standard, Mike. <laughs> and then the. Two Mizuki. Try to get the glare out of the video. And then oh, how do I do that? I ran the one Arsuda. I don't know, I think he'll be better after the next set comes out. Like when uh, the new one of the new Bujins comes out. Yeah, yeah. It's more support for him. I I'd probably put a third yeah, we talked about you taking that, that thing out for a third mis 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 Mishka because right. I really don't like Arasuda that much. I just, I couldn't find it or it's too much. Oh, would you do like different combinations with like, I know you run the three standard for your motto. Would you run like three new Kazuchi, one Asuruda, and then one of the new Bujins, or how would you work that? With the new Bujins? Yeah. Would you, well, uh, what combination would you do? Let's ask, yeah, yeah let's, let's oh. ask all the questions at the end. Yeah. Right, keep going. All right. so anyway, <laughs> you got the two here. Standard. It, yeah, it, it, it fuels fusion for nature, and it's just, it's awesome. Um, only two crane. All right, you're gonna have to explain why you're running two crane after the video. <laughs> two crane. I decided to run. No, no, no. no dude. After oh, going. Okay. Yeah, after you're after 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 the profile. All right. <laughs> One. One. Two. One. Honest. One quill and one honest. One turtle. And then two Valor. Alright, you can just brush off to the side. Yeah. Yes, Chris. <laughs> and spells. Let's probably do the triple because. Uh, three pot of duality. Three stable? Oh, yeah. Stable. <laughs> yeah, Standard. 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 Because you have to get to Yamato as fast as you can, as early as you can. And then standard. And then that's also standard. I don't think it's is that standard. Yeah. Sure. It kind of is. Yeah, yeah, standard. a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. And then that some people yeah, don't. Yeah, I was going to ask like you about it. the dark hole. What do you think about the dark hole? I'm wondering. It's not bad. It's it's can be really good if you try and go off. And then they stop your play, and they, they like tour, do something like to disrupt your monsters. Well, tour would hurt themselves. But anyway, like Mirror Force, something to disrupt your play. You can still have Dark Hole in hand and blow it up. Anyway. So you can either. Did you ever side it out? Uh, no, I would side it out against Fire King. Yeah. I should have side it out against Evil <laughs> Sword. And then the three Phoenix Chain. Two emptiness. Yeah, we, we, we like and then you got bottomless or That's all you ran for traps? Wow. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Very few traps. I love that. Yeah. You must have switched your build. No. He bluffed the shit out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was setting a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, I'd set that if I didn't have traps. Right. Can you do extra side? Yeah, let's get to the extra. <laughs> or side? Extra. Extra first. Exiton Knight. Roy let me borrow it. Our teammate. So. Standard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, didn't go into him. Um, I don't know. I used that guy because you can lose your carnation into Omega and then you can overlay for him. It's just another play. 
It's not bad. Did you get a Yamato it. back or something like that? Yeah, I never, I never really did it. But that's a case of skill training. Four people that's have taken my deck goes to the portal lane and the building is actually in the first time. Yeah, Stroke. Uh, Sukuyomi. Did you ever go into Sukuyomi today? No. Okay. Well, I was gonna ask. There's no some. There's some. Some way, like some options, you might be able to go into it if you know your opponent. Oh, yeah. And then the two is just one. Uh, hey, so all over the all over the, the tournament scene, they're asking. I mean, people are saying that Susanano is a three. Did you ever feel like you needed to play three today? Not today, but there has been instances in the past where. If I had a third one, I could have went into it. Like how some people say you should only make first one gets killed, and then the second one gets killed, and then the third one is the, the one third that goes through. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, 101, Omega, Dyer. Shut up, Ron. Oh, wow. What's your name? My name is Chuck. Yeah. Side deck. Side. Three to create side. How many times have you sided that in? <laughs> I mean, maybe I should have mained it, you know, took all my traps out. Yeah, you know, he, he won his last match with Royal Decree. It was unbelievable. The guy had five back row and couldn't do anything. And he drew, like, two more traps. Yeah, and he drew traps. So it's like, he just locked his opponent out of the game. And then he drew a second Royal Decree. If, if In case. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. It's goofed up in ultra today. Twister, I cited it a couple times. It worked really well. Actually. Helped you today. Yeah. I saw that when you, know, you twisted you know, the safe zone and yeah. killed this monster. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just an, uh, another MST. There's a lot of face sets that can be a problem. Two Kaiser. Um, I really think, I didn't like the emptiness so much in the main. It's good against like Heratics and Mermills. But this is better against a lot of decks. So I think I'm going to take the two emptiness out and then put the two Kaisers in. I mean, it, it hurts Stellars, it hurts Evil Swarm, you know, weird matchups. It hurts uh, Fire Fist to a certain degree because you keep your Yamato out there and they can't exceed and they can't pop it. So I think I, think I just keep those. And it also kind of slows down her out. So, it's, it's better against more decks. Um, so then you got two maxis, standard for special summon uh, Two DD Chrome. Uh, uh, Spellbooks, it's awesome, and if you play against Spellbooks, it really sucks. So, you have to get the summon down. Uh, Thunder King. I put it in a couple times. There's near Bujin Air matches. Also for the Spellbook matchup, but I never played Spellbook. Um, two Mind Crush. Good for good against. Like if you go, uh, if you lose your first one, you're going second. Then you can always side those in. Maybe it's Fire Fist. Spellbook, it's good against. Uh, and yeah, then the two concealing lights. I put it in against Fusion Mirror Match. Um, it's all right. Uh, I'd probably do a different set. How did that work out? I played it against one Fusion player. Shakes. The reason why it's good is because like if you play against a, Bu a Fusion Mirror Match, you just it's not targeting. It doesn't it's everything right. It puts down. everything face down. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. People are doing that now. It's like, it's nuts. Yeah. You can just play around Spellbook with Fade with it too. Yeah, you can also play around Spellbook with Fade too. Can you, can you tell us why you, why you play oh, yeah. two cranes today? Two cranes. Well, the reason I was... I've been playing Bougians for at least a couple months now. And... You get stuck with like a turtle in hand and a crane, or like a quill in a crane. You can't get to your motto, you, or they already bought them a your motto, or warning you, whatever. You're stuck with cranes and these other bougies that you can't use with the crane. So it's just dead, you can set it, it sucks setting, it's 16 of attack, that the sucks. Um, and the other reason, your opponent thinks you might and they always think you might have crane in hand. 
So they're going to play around frame. He's right. So not even having it makes your opponent think, oh, I got to play around it. In the finals match, um, his, his opponent kept saying, um, do you have a crane every time he attacked? It was crazy. Like, he's so right. I mean, people just think crane no matter what. Oh, dude. Oh, the storage is silly. Mine's a little dirty. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> yeah, these are really good against Costello. Uh, I like it, though. I really do. And would you play Upstart? Uh, like yeah, I, I was thinking playing it. Um, or even Reckless? No, not Reckless. It's uh, Reckless is good for like combo decks or decks that need to get their plays off really fast from their own play. Mermos, it's great. Because you play it, you add that that gun that just makes you go off. I, would, I got a question for you. I was watching your game three, and you um you summoned Bujin Yamato instead of instead of Mishka. I, w I didn't understand why you didn't do it the other way around. Because Bujin Yamato would have just filled up your graveyard, and he bottomless your Bujin Yamato. And if you would have did Mishka, he would have bottomless Mishka anyway. Because that's just the kind of well, I was thinking um, maybe I shouldn't do anything and just set the decree and hope the decree comes through. But then I was thinking, well, and that's kind of slow. If he doesn't have anything, if he doesn't have a bunch, just like mirror forces in the back and shit, I could summon. I had an MST in him. So if he, uh, he just chained, yeah, I, I would have MST too. the Phoenix chain. I was just thinking he didn't have bottomless support. And also, I looked in my hand, I had a crane and a Mizukuri. So I knew that if my bottom was, or if my Yamato, I couldn't get his effect off if he had managed to set the grid, whatever. I'd still have the uh, Mizukuri and the Kray in hand. And I had the Royal Decree to stop back. So I had that as a back. So you would have Bougie Carnation. Yeah, then I could have added Bougie Carnation. I told you. I was my only play that I was having to worry about when you were playing. Yeah. 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 At least, but... Hindsight, maybe I should have just set the decree in the rest of the just, just because if he would have done that, and if he would have seen how good I was on the crane, I could have ended that. Yeah, I'm at 4%. But I still like okay, it. I'm kind of sure you're saying. All right. So, any more questions? All right, guys. Well, um, do you have any last minute questions here? Are we all good on this? Yeah. Okay. Well, we definitely appreciate you uh, giving us a deck profile today. It's freaking awesome. Team Overload in this mother. Yeah. I'm really glad. Thank you guys for OTS Championship, baby. Puerto Rican face Mendoza in the motherfucking building, and he's leaving this motherfucker right now. Peace, everybody. All right. Good job.